And let's start with India's. The openers are a bit of an issue. We've seen two top knocks from both Pujara and Kohli in these two test matches. But the questions surround KL Rahul and Murli Vijay. Let's start with Rahul, who's actually had the longest run, Sanjay, amongst all the openers that India have tried, four or five of them in the last, uh, since the South Africa tour. What have you observed if you just look at how he's getting out? Okay, well, you can see that um, he's been out uh, caught many times and yeah. it's been generally in the slips and then bowled nine times and four leg before. So, obviously, the ball that's coming in straight is worrying him. The pattern is a problem. I've never seen anybody get out in the same fashion repeatedly. I have here a, yeah. a sequence of leg befores and bowls. Mm -hmm. You're talking about leg before and bowl in nine consecutive innings for KL Rahul. Can you imagine that? Nine yeah. consecutive innings, he's been either leg before or bowled. And then in South Africa, there was that sequence of getting caught in the slips yeah. four times Which in Which is a how row. it started so in Adelaide is, as well. Yeah. And for a class player like him, his being out of form has just lasted a bit too long because he's got exceptional physical skills as a batsman. So, obviously, the brain is all scrambled, the confidence mm. is down and he's looking actually hopeless at the moment. You know, run out of ideas, getting out in different fashions, try to leave the ball and get out. That mm. was a new one. Yeah. So, got a feel for him. Would you play him at the MCG? See, there's a recent example of Keaton Jennings, mm. who despite a string of failures, England trusted him, eventually got some runs. Mm. I would not personally play him. I'd rather him go back, like Sunil Gavaskar said, go back to India, play Ranji Trophy cricket. And, uh, you know, because Modli Vijay looked a little better yeah. in the second inning, played the pace bowl as well, played a bad Slim shot. Slim pickings at 20 line. makes us feel like a batsman's looking good. They're clutching at straws yeah, now. Absolutely. You know, small mercy. So, maybe Murli Vijay continues and I've got another idea as an opener, but that's for later. Okay, let, no, that's for now. I'll ask you in a minute. But we're speaking <laughs> of Murli Vijay. Now, Keaton Jennings at least had Alistair Cook at the other end after, of course, Cook's retirement. He had to True. find good someone point. else. But Murli Vijay, an experienced opener in many regards, has still not been the player he was four years back in Australia. That's what we're looking at Vijay. We look at his dismissals too and stroke of luck that got him into this team in the first place. Are you saying that he should still get another go just on the evidence of that second innings or can you go radically and say put Mayank Agarwal in? That is my issue with Mayank Agarwal. He's got all the runs. He seems to have the talent but is it fair to send a young talent into a test match in Australia without any warm-up games? Mm -hmm. So I'd rather Mayank Agarwal that is in Australia play a lot of you know net session bat on actual cr uh, cricket pitches rather than indoor nets and have... Uh, Hanuma Vihari up the order. That is the idea. That you would I have. have. You'd rather have him than a Pujara open. A Pujara number no, three because suddenly that. Pujara has become very precious for India. Let's not you know tamper with his position. Hanuma Vihari. Every time I've seen him bat, I see more than a number six batsman. I see a number one, two, and three batsman playing. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.